Hey guys, welcome back. We are gonna do another day from the 12 Days of Crafting by the Alex DIY. If you watched the first one, you know I got this as a Mother's Day present for my kids. So we're gonna go ahead and do day two. I have the box here and it's kind of like an advent calendar where you push in the little spots. Day two is this little pin here that you, um, you paint. So we're gonna go ahead and get this open. Like I said last time, this box is really thick to be um, like where you have to punch it out. Everything's like glued in in little baggies into their boxes, so that's nice. So nothing's moving around. It does look like we, yep, yeah, we got the same one here, the little panda with the hard eyes, which is cute. It's got some glitter, which looks like it's gonna make a mess. And it's got three paints, I believe. We're gonna check out our directions because, you know, it's what you do. So let's see here. We have our panda enamel pin, our three colors of non-toxic -tox paint, shared component. Okay, so this paint is the same paint that you use for the squishy. So that's, you gotta make sure you don't use it all because you gotta use it whenever you go to paint your squishy on, what day is that? Yeah, because the rocks get their own paint. Uh, I don't know, I don't see it. We got our friendship bracelet and our coin purse. Shrinky dinks and that, whatever that was, I can't remember now. <laughs> Shrinky dinks and rocks. Macrame necklace, bracelet, hello, pom pom. Oh, here it is. So yeah, so the glitter and the paint are all the ones that you use for the squishy. So we want to remove the caps and unscrew. Okay, so they're sealed. This is, I want to use a toothpick, but why can't I just use the tip of the paint? And then you sprinkle glitter on it. Okay. Um, I feel like we need to poke this into something. But what? Alright, I got some poster board. Um, hopefully it's thick enough. And it's got a little bit poking out still, but I think it'll be okay. But that way it sits more flat. We have to take off the caps because they're sealed, which is good. We have purple, pink, and white. It's a good combination. Nice colors. Don't get you not really gonna get any benefit of mixing colors, but I mean there's not much to paint here, so yeah. I think we're just gonna go ahead and try to use these little tips on the paint instead of trying to get a Q-tip, not a Q-tip, uh, a toothpick, sorry. I did get paint on my nail. It's fine, I need to redo my nails. They're all coming off and looking crazy. So hopefully for day three, I'll have different nails. Let's go ahead. Seriously? Oh! Well, we're just going to go ahead and try this. I don't really know how full to make it. Doesn't really say. Looking a bit sloppy. I guess that's why they want you to use a toothpick, but I didn't do that. I 
also covered its mouth up. Uh, let's see, can we get its mouth back, please? I'm running out of clean fingers. Alright, so is that all the white? That's all the white. We're just gonna go ahead and paint it exactly like how the box is. You know? Why not? I think these definitely could have had a smaller tip. But then again, like I said, they wanted you to use a toothpick. Which after dealing with this makes sense now but I didn't have a toothpick in here so we will just play the cleanup game after I'm not sure what kind of paint this is that it's gonna work for enamel pins and squishies but I don't know we'll find out this is non-toxic paint. Well, I mean, that's good. I am making a mess. I think it's a bit weird that you're supposed to use items from... I'm gonna go ahead and paint a little mouth, too. I think it's weird that you're supposed to use items from, like, today, and then the squishy isn't until, like, day five or something, I don't know. It seems a bit weird. Especially because you're supposed to keep this glitter, but it's not in a resealable bag or anything, so definitely don't know how you're supposed to keep that. Go ahead and sprinkle a bit on our panda here. We should probably uncover her eyes. Yeah, you know let me go get a Q-tip. We'll use a Q-tip and wipe off the metal of her little pupils. Alright, let's... Zoom you in. Trying to clear off the little pupils there. Pretty good, right? Bring you closer. Let's see if I can make it focus on the pin. I mean, it's not perfect, but I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle the glitter on top. I think they only sprinkled in the white, but I'm just gonna. Let it go wherever it wants to go because that's what's gonna happen anyways. Nope, well, that isn't exactly what I wanted. Okay, well, good thing I brought a second Q tip and we'll clean off her eyes again. Okay, so it's actually kind of cute. I like that. I don't know how well this is gonna stay on here because I don't know if this is like acrylic paint or what but there's nothing to there's not like a sealer or anything but that's what we got she's looking a bit crazy um it did you tell me how long it takes to dry for a few hours so I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry. That was day two. That was the paint and wear enamel pin. And tomorrow we'll check out how it looks whenever we do our fun filled scrunchie. Which sounds kind of goofy, but you know, whatever. This was kind of fun. Um, I think using a um, toothpick, like they said, would have probably been a better idea because I got some globby paint in there, obviously. 
we need to save these for our squishy day. And we need to save this for a squishy day too, but I need to get a zip bag for it. So that was day two of the Alex DIY 12 Days of Crafting. Um, come back tomorrow for day three. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.